Hey dolls and gents, today I'm doing a lip swatch video for you guys and a lot of you have been wanting to see the MAC Retro Liquid Lipstick Swatches and I'm doing that for you guys today. I am not wearing any of the liquid lipsticks on my lips right now because they are in so much pain from removing the liquid lipsticks. Like, I love doing lip swatch videos, and I haven't done any in a while. But when you're lip swatching liquid lipsticks, it is hella hard to get off. So, yeah, I was scrubbing my lips. So I had to put on a lip gloss so they would look presentable for you guys right now. So I was sent these liquid lipsticks from MAC as a PR sample. So this video isn't sponsored. I tell you whether I love or dislike the lipstick. So if you want to see all the lip swatches, definitely stay tuned, guys. So the first color that I'm going to share with you guys is Espresso. I'm wearing it on my lips right now. This is what it looks like. It's like a grayish brown color. It's really different. I don't have any lip colors like this one. Y'all have seen me rock this on Snapchat like two days ago, and y'all really love this color. So... I had to do it first because it's one of my favorites as well. So if you're into like cool tone gray brown colors, you'll definitely love this one. Next up we have this color which is So Me and I really, really love this lip color. It's like a my lips but better kind of color. So it's definitely like a grayish pink. It's a very cool tone pink color and I really love this. I can wear it with, without a lip liner and it's perfect. I love it. Now we have this color called Dash O Spice and this is the first time that I've ever tried this color and this is the lightest of all the shades so it is a beigey nude color and it's a nice color but I definitely need a lip liner with it otherwise I look crazy so I am going to apply cork lip liner and I'll be right back. So as this color is drying, it is looking very ashy on the lips. So I don't think that I could get away with rocking this color. I am not a fan. Like going on when it was kind of creamy, I thought that a lip liner would make it look a lot better. But I just look really thirsty right now, right? <laughs> like I look like I need a lot of water. Like I'm dehydrated. So not really filling this color maybe with a lip gloss but I'll play around with it and if it gets better I'll definitely share it with you guys but I am not a fan of this color on my skin tone so next we have flesh tone and this is like a light gray color it's a lot like stone so if you're into like gray colors you'll definitely love this lip color I'm on the fence about it I feel like I could pull it off without a lip liner, but I want to go in with like a grayish lip liner, like a medium gray, and like kind of ombre it so it would look a lot more clean on my skin, but it's not a bad color. It's just something I've got to get used to. So this lip color is more up my alley when it comes to like nudes that I like to wear, and this color is called Cafe Ah Chic. And it is a like pinky nude. It's really pretty. I definitely would rock this with cork lip liner and it would be so, so beautiful. I love this color. It's really pretty. Is it just me or are all these colors cool tones so far? Like all of them are hella cool tone, right? So this shade is Simply Smoked and it is a grayish purpley color it is really really cute this is something that i would definitely oh lip stuff on my teeth anyways this is something that i would definitely rock probably without a lip liner it's really really cute see i love like cool tone lipsticks i know some people don't i'm not like a fan of warm tone i always go for like the blue tone lipsticks i love them so i've come to the conclusion that all of these are pretty much cool tone this one is kind of like neutral it's got a tinge of warm in it but it definitely is cool as well but this color is burnt spice and it is like a true pink color I would say that this is more warm tone. On camera, it's looking cool tone, but it is very, very warm in person. So it is like a mid-tone pink. 
I honestly don't even know how I would describe this color, but it's called Top with Brandy. I guess I would describe it as a berry color. And this one is warm tone. So just like the last one, it has a warm tone to it. This isn't something that I would reach for, but it is a different pretty color. So it wouldn't be a MAC lip collection without having like a red color. And I applied this so sloppy, so sorry you guys, my lips are starting to hurt. But this color is called Carnivorous and this is like a blood red color. It is cool tone. I would definitely rock this color. But um, I would have to apply a lip liner and apply it a lot more clean than what I did. I'm kind of looking like the Joker right now, the way I applied it. <laughs> so I absolutely love this lip color. This one is called Coco Tease. And was it this one or another one has been discontinued? I'll have to do some research on that. Someone was telling me about it on Snapchat. But I hope it's not this one because this one is so pretty. I have liquid lipstick. like everywhere on my hands and on my nails but that's okay this is like a chocolate brown you need this color in your life if it's still available it's got like a nice warm tone brown to it i love it i think it looks really good with this look what do y'all think y'all i'm so sorry i have been applying these darker colors so sloppy but this color is right up my alley. It's like a dark violet color, almost eggplant. And this one is called Uniformly Fabulous. And it definitely is that. It's so pretty. In the bottle, I almost thought it was like an oxblood color. But it definitely is purple. Mm -hmm. It's really cute though. So this color, I did not take all the way to my lip line on purpose because the last color completely just went all over and I had to like fix my foundation so I'm like you know what I'm not gonna do that with this so this is the last color y'all can still kind of see what it looks like right even though it's not on the full lip this one is called young attitude it's like a greenish blue I'm honestly not really a fan of this color it's like a teal so if you really like teal lip colors, you'll like this one, but I'm not a fan. I think it'll take a few layers to build it up to an opaque look that I like to go for. So yeah, not my favorite one. So now that you've seen all the retro matte liquid lipsticks that I have, it's 11 of them, I believe. You can let me know what your favorite colors were down below in the comment section. But as far as the formula is concerned, I really do enjoy the formula because it's not super drying. It's pretty moisturizing for a liquid lipstick, but it does not dry down completely. So I find that the center of the lips always ends up coming off on a straw or anytime I eat or drink or anything like that. So it does not stay put in the middle for me personally. Y'all can let me know if you have experienced the same thing. And I don't use any like lip balm or anything underneath. So I know that can't be why it lifts up in the middle. But I do appreciate the fact that it goes on very smooth and the applicator's really easy to line your lips as well. So you can definitely do it on the go. So I don't mind reapplying the liquid lipstick because it's one of those liquid lipsticks that you can apply on on top and it's not going to cause any beading or any weird texture. Overall, I think all of the shades are women of color friendly except the super nude shade, but I believe that you could make it work with a deep, deep lip liner, like a dark chestnut lip liner or like some sort of lip gloss. But I mean, just by itself, even with like cork lip liner, it looks crazy on me. So that's the only one that I wouldn't necessarily recommend, but all the other shades would look beautiful on women of color, but some of them I like, some of them I dislike just for personal preference, but I think that they all would look good. So if you found this video helpful, definitely give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any other brands that have come out with liquid lipsticks, lipsticks, lip glosses, 
Anything that you want me to do a lip swatch for, you can also leave that down below, and I will get to that as soon as I can. Thank you all for your continued love and support, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.